Let's talk about what is known as the path. This used to be called sales path and was strictly available in lightning experience on the opportunity and lead objects. And over time now, they've made the path available on other objects as well. And in the winter 18 release, uh, the path functionality is an available lightning component. So we're seeing path functionality being broadened to basically almost any object, which is great news. But as it relates to opportunities and sales productivity, the path will help you realize different key fields that need to be entered based on what stage an opportunity is in. And so if we go to setup and search for the term path, we see this link for path settings. Now previously in the admin course, and you may be watching this in my admin course because I'm actually filming this uh, originally for my sales cloud consultant course, and then I'm gonna copy this over to my admin course because it needs to be updated. But in the admin course, uh, this was called sales path. And with this update, it's just called path or path settings. And it was throwing students off because they couldn't find sales path and setup. It's because it's no longer there. It's been renamed just strictly path because this functionality works well beyond just the sales process. And so in order to enable path in Salesforce, you need to click the big green enable button. And so one thing I'm going to go ahead and check is this remember users path preference. And we'll I'll show you how the path is configured and what it looks like and you can toggle this on and off. But we want to remember the individual user's path preference. That way it'll persist with what they had set last as far as either showing or hiding those path key fields to success and uh, guidance area, which we'll see here in a second. So let's create a new path. And we're gonna do this on an opportunity. And so I'm just gonna pick an opportunity in my own Salesforce org once we get this all set up and demonstrate this more. So we're gonna do this uh, on the opportunity object. And so then for the record type on opportunity, depending on what class you're in of mine, you may have this record type, you may not. Don't let this throw you. Uh, just pick a record type, okay? Um, and then when we demonstrate this, pick a opportunity that is the same record type as what you set here, and you'll be able to see this in action. So I'm going to select an opportunity record type of retail, and I'm gonna call this path, retail path. And then the API reference name fills in automatically with the underscore when I tab out of the path name. So then the pick list that we want to control or drive this off of is the stage pick list. Now, if this were a lead object, then that pick list would be status. If it were a case, it would be status, those sorts of concepts. Now, some objects, you can do a path across multiple pick lists, but for now, for opportunity, this is driven off of stage. So if we click next, we can select the fields and provide guidance for each step in the path. So in the opportunity, we have the different stages uh, for our opportunity based on the record type that we previously selected. And then you can select which fields you want to display in the key fields section of the path and then the guidance for success, which is on the right side of the path. And so for the prospecting stage, we can select fields to display by clicking the add update fields link and then the available fields, we just move them over to the selected fields. You can do up to five per stage in the path. And so the key or primary fields when it's a, the prospecting stage of an opportunity, I would think would be the account name, of course, uh, the amount, the close date, let's say as well description, for example. And so then if we click next, I seem to recall there being an issue last time I did this and recorded this, there was an issue with some fields being hidden. So I'm going to adjust the resolution on my screen. So everything may appear a little smaller, but at least it will display more on my screen real estate. All right. So we see the different fields that I've selected here on the right. So I'm going to click save. And so for prospecting, I've got these fields and over here on the right is the guidance for success. And the, what this is intended is to provide some instruction for the user so that they know what they're supposed to do at this stage of the opportunity. And it just gives them some details so that they know, oh, okay, for this first stage of prospecting, I need to enter the account name, the amount, the close date, etc. For sake of time, I'm just going to type some words there and then we're going to go on and click next and so what you could do you know I'm not ready to activate this yet I want to do a few more stages I can go back by clicking back and it retains the selections I did for the prospecting stage so if we want to create 
uh, key fields for the sample sent stage. And once again, you may not have this stage in your own org. I'm speaking to admin students because I'm throwing this in as an update because I'm recording this for the Sales Cloud Consultant course. And so there's a whole different types of opportunity record types and stages that I've set up in that course, which isn't even out yet at the point of recording this. But I want to explain to you that it doesn't matter. Don't get tripped up on it not being exactly what you see. Just the concept is you can adjust these by stage with whatever stages you have on your own opportunities and your own record types. I'm trying to prevent getting hit with you know, some commentary. <laughs> so sample sent, uh, this is a retail opportunity record type in this example. And so for this particular stage, I'm going to say we're going to have the key fields be main competitors and next step and quantity. We're going to click save. And so I've got these first two stages. I've got the key fields entered and I'm putting in the guidance for success on the right side. And then I'm going to click next. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. And you could do this for all the 10 or dozen stages of your opportunity if you want. And that's really what it's intended for. And you'll see how this makes sense here in a moment. So I'm going to click finish and that activates this path for the opportunity record type of retail in my instance. And so I've got the one active path. And so if I go to the sales application and if I find a retail opportunity in, for my example, and so you just pull up an opportunity. Let me go ahead and scale my resolution back to where you can see this a little better at this point. All right, so now I've gone to an opportunity and it's of a different record type than the one that I previously selected. In my example, I used retail, but just select whatever record type you selected for your path that you just set up, if it's different than what I have, and click next to save this opportunity with the corresponding record type. And that way you'll be able to see your path in action. Now you notice that this particular opportunity is in the qualification stage and it's showing that it's two days in this stage. I only set up the first two uh, stages for the uh, path and so even though this is toggled down there's no key fields and guidance for success. If I were to down stage this then you see the key fields display and the guidance for success. And so I'm going to mark this as current stage so that stays in place. And so the idea here is that as a deal goes through the different stages in your sales process for this record type of whatever the opportunity is, that during this stage you can highlight what the key fields are that your sales rep needs to enter. And you can also give them guidance for success. Examples would be if you schedule a meeting with an executive, you can reduce the sales cycle time to close the deal. And so, you know, that might, you know, clue people in that they need to schedule a meeting and enter that into their next steps, that sort of process. And then as well, if you, you know, it really shines whenever you're creating a new opportunity. And so I'm going to do a new opportunity with that same retail record type. Once you've entered in the required fields, I'm going to do the first stage just so that I can show you this better. I'm going to associate this with salesforce.com account. Just associate, if you're following along, just select an account. It doesn't matter. Main thing is don't get caught up in the specifics. The main thing is you need to understand the concepts. The underlying concepts is what we're after, not the nitty gritty specifics if things don't match exactly in your own org. So click save to save the opportunity. And so it's also remembering my preferences in that the last time I had a path open, this was toggled downward, revealing the key fields and the guidance for success. And this is also helpful in that they don't have to keep retoggling back and forth because I set that to remember and recall those settings. So now we've got some information here in these key fields. And so it's like, oh, okay, in this stage, I need to enter in a description as well and save your edits. And you notice as well, that we have our guidance for success. And then once we're ready to move that to the next stage, there's new key fields based on the path that I've set up. So I'm gonna mark the current stage. And so now that we're in the second stage of this opportunity, we have new key fields that we need to fill in. And this really solves the problem of incomplete data and helps sales reps be more productive. So I really like the path. And as I mentioned previously, it is a functionality that's not only available on opportunities, but also is tied into the leads status field so that as you're qualifying leads, you can work a path that way. 
And then as well in the Winter 18 release, the path is now something that is available as a lightning component. And you can extend this out into custom fields. And there's a lot of implications as far as what this opens up Salesforce to be able to do. There's some really cool things with this that I plan to do some stuff around as it relates to like account-based marketing. And so stay tuned for some announcements on that in the future. But in the meantime, we're going to continue on with the next lecture in whatever course you're watching this from, whether it's the admin course, the sales cloud course, the concept remains the same. The path can give you key fields and guidance for success, and it just might appear on your exam.